So what are we expecting now? The final address of APC, INEC, Labour Party, they're all out. Where do we go from here? What is the next thing? What should Nigerians expect? What kind of judgment are we likely going to expect from the appeal court? I know that this case will eventually get to the Supreme Court. But do we have an idea of what the outcome of the appeal court judgment will be like, the presidential elections petitions court? What is the worst case scenario? And what is the best case scenario? Are we looking forward to the cancellation, the annulment of this election and everybody's going back? Could APC's candidates be disqualified? Will that give P2B presidency? What will the judges do? How are they going to look at this address? We have seen what APC wrote, what INEC wrote, what Labour Party wrote in their final address. We have seen how they all tried to argue their case. It is now for the judges to decide. In this space, I'm going to take time to share my own thoughts, my own analysis, draw my own, you know, opinions. I want us to stay put here. And I would like it to be, if it is possible, a time of question and answers. Let it just be a participant program. Let's keep a date in our subsequent sessions when we delve deeper on the expectations, the worst and the best case scenarios. Nigeria is at a crossroad. And it is that we, it's either we get it right now or I don't know. But I do hope that even though this is the worst time for Nigeria, we could still see the light at the end of the tunnel. Just this afternoon, I got a news about a Nigerian who committed suicide at Heathrow Airport. They were deporting him. A Nigerian. The person killed himself. And I was asking myself, is that how bad Nigeria has gotten to? That people would rather take their lives than to be deported. Why is our country a place that people have chosen to run away from with all the natural resources, with all the things God blessed us with? Why would people want to run away from Nigeria? Why would our leaders make things too bad and so tough for us that people prefer to take their lives than to live in Nigeria? Let's keep praying. Let's keep hoping. I do strongly believe that a new Nigeria is coming. Thank you. Let's hang out this evening as usual and see how it plays out. God bless.